what is color to you? Color is what brings ideas to life. Color is sharing emotions with the world. Color is what captures the moment. For us, color is a combination of precise calculations and well-defined algorithms, uncompromising design and engineering, relentlessly refining our methods, and spending countless hours to perfect our product. For us, that is color. Every detail counts. Our promise is to give you the most color-critical monitor ever and to vibrantly bring your vision to life. With your color, the true color. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Vicente Lofschmidt, and it's my pleasure today to welcome you all to today's uh, webinar on fine arts photography with Giovanna Riccalo. Uh, I just want to say from the outset that we are so thrilled uh, at the reception, at the turnout so far. We are at over 1,000 registrations for today's webinar, so we're just very thankful for your presence today and, and can't wait to get started. Uh, before we get, uh, before we really get into the webinar, uh, First of all, you'll see uh, behind me here is the Integrated Systems Europe 2020 BenQ stand. Uh, we're really looking forward uh, to welcoming you all again to a physical event, to physical workshops. Uh, we really enjoy engaging with you online, but we're really looking forward to seeing you physically uh, again as well. Before we get started, there are two points that I would quickly like to go through. Uh, the first of all being that the webinar uh, recording will be sent to you. Uh, tomorrow within uh, in the next 24 hours. Uh, beyond that is a small gift actually to the uh, to all the participants here today, which is a 10% discount code uh, for our PD and SW monitors in our Europe BenQ Europe Q shop, and you will be receiving that information in the email as well. Uh, for those of you who don't know, BenQ has a catalog has two lines of professional monitors made for artists. We have the PD, which is for designers, and we have the SW, which is for photographers. Uh, I won't go into too much detail here, but uh, suffice it to say, the monitors are really built up from the ground up with a plethora of features uh, in mind made for artists. Uh, there is the hotkey puck, which you saw briefly here in the video. There is the plethora of different modes, which are available for CAD CAM, for animators, for black and white photography. Uh, the monitor is very flexible, can be put into a portrait mode as well. They're very, uh, very advanced monitors. And uh, what's probably the most important is uh, AccuColor technology. Uh, this is uh, something BenQ has invested a lot of time and a lot of resources into, into really assuring that you as the artist have the absolute best color accuracy when you are working. This is probably the most important aspect to any artist's work when they are working with digital uh, digital art, that they know that the colors they see on their monitor are accurate and that when they print them out later on, that the colors match, that there is a, a, a true calibration, uh, a, a true accuracy there. And each monitor also comes with an individual calibration report assuring that you really have the absolute best uh, in that regard. So. Uh, we encourage you to, uh, to also look online. Uh, there are a plethora of review, reviews, not just in English, but all, all over Europe in many different languages as well. And uh, we encourage you to, to, to check those out. Um, 
Uh, one, one final thing I'll, I'll say in the monitors as well is that in our webinars, we've noticed that we have a very, very diverse group of uh, people. Some are people who have perhaps never worked with photography or design before. Others are hobby, uh, hobby uh, doing it as a hobby or some just as enthusiasts. We also have a lot of professional workers as well, people who really do this for a living and who have made their whole profession, their whole life out of this. Uh, the PD and SW lineup really have a monitor for everyone. Whether you are just starting or whether you are someone who really wants to improve their profession and take it to the next level, there is something there for everyone. And uh, they come in a host of sizes and, and resolutions and with different features, but all of them with that, uh, with that same AccuColor technology to assure the absolute best. Uh, on to Jovana. So for those of you who don't know, Jovana Di Kahlo is uh, a Serbian photographer who has been working with ph photography for now for 10 years. And um, she has been featured by Canon Europe, by Adobe. Finally enough, just yesterday, again, featured by Adobe. Um, Vogue Italy, as well as a host of other uh, magazines, uh, photography magazines. And you'll often find her work also on, on book covers as well. And um, Jovana, if you are not following her on yet on Instagram, she has over 190,000 followers. And if you check it out, you will find that it is very well deserved because uh, Jovana is really has an exceptional talent at creating evocative imagery out of very interesting settings. Uh, she has worked with over 200 models. Uh, so for today's topic, which is uh, working with uh, portrait photography, fine art portrait photography with models, I think it would, you would be hard pressed to find someone who is better, uh, more adept at, at, at talking about the subject than, than Jovana. Uh, she, beyond being very talented, she's also a very lovely person. And um, her work is also, uh, I, I forgot to mention, she's also been in a lot of international ex uh, exhibitions uh, in Serbia naturally, but also in, in France. I, I guess I can take the time now to speak a bit about Jovana's own work uh, with Thank You. Uh, Jovana and I have, been, uh, have known each other now for about, uh, for about three years. And uh, Jovana has been using uh, for three years the SW lineup, which I spoke about before, which is the photography line. And uh, this is the S, uh, she was working with the SW271 and uh, recently has been working on the SW321C and the review for which should be coming out very soon. And uh, I guess I can also take this time to speak about uh, also a bit uh, BenQ's relationship with artists. Uh, all of the reviews that you will find online for, for Europe and, and really for company-wide, and I can, I can definitely assure you from, from my side, they're always completely honest. We have no, uh, our relationship with our, with our photographers, with the artists that we work with, is always based upon transparency and honesty. And it's the same also with, uh, with Jovana herself. So the reviews that you find online, we do not work with giving scripts to people. We do not work with giving um, fees to tell them something that they themselves don't believe. So all of the collaborations that you see, all of the reviews that you see really are based upon the artist's actual perspective on their actual um, experience and their organic experience with, uh, with, the, with, the, with the monitors. And we always like to give them really a solid month of testing so that they can really have an organic feeling of it in their day-to-day, -day, see which, fe which features they most like. Uh, even if there are features that they like but don't use very much, these are all types of feedback that we are always willing to, to listen to and to always uh, receive. And um, I can also speak a bit about uh, one of the uh, a, a few funny stories we've had actually is that uh, the monitors themselves are matte coated and so what that means is that when you are working in a daytime environment you have no virtually no reflection uh, when you are when you're working and funnily enough we had one bit of one bit of feedback from a very prominent art artist actually where she had been working for many years with a glossy monitor and what that meant was that when she was working, she could only work in the evenings because there was so much reflection coming off, her, off of her monitor. And because she worked so much with color, which is really what was so important to her work, it was very difficult for her to, to work any other time. When she received the BenQ, uh, she messaged me and she told me that actually that was one of her favorite features was the fact that she no longer had to work with, uh, had to work in the, had to work in the, uh, only in the nighttime. So I see that uh, the webcam seems to be working again. So I'll be passing it on to, to Yvonne again. Thank you so much, Ms. Sandra. I was so stressful about this, but everything is okay now. We have the webcam and everything. So I will, again, send it. 
that we are creating together the whole, uh, these two scenes, one with a bright backdrop and the second will be with a black backdrop. So for the first scene, I will give more peripheral touch with a more dramatic ground. So uh, if I use more simple, this is more simple dress with a be beautiful color and I will use more dramatic ground. And for the second scene, I want to bring more dramatic um, with the dress and more simple with the crown. So you will see everything. And uh, about the lights, I'm a natural light photographer and I love uh, using natural light, but because it's sun is going down, I will using these uh, reflectors. It is um, soft boxes, LED lights, and uh, I want to turn on the whole, uh, all the buttons, only two or three of them, like this one from the left side and the other on the other side. And to face to her. And I don't want to uh, turn on all the buttons because I want to add more mystic to the photo, mysterious and more shadows on her face. I don't know when everything is too much on the photo that is going. So uh, let's start with the first round. Also, I forget to mention that during this webinar, you can ask the questions for both myself and Vanya, and we will answer at the end of the webinar. And also, I'll, I will cover the editing parts for you. But basic retouch. So let's start about with the crowns. So the first crown would be this one. I really love this one because it goes around all her face and I love this jewelry and I think it will give such a dramatic look with this fairy dress. So I will put this on her face and make sure to always uh, set in to make the hair and everything that is looking fine. But because we are doing only upper part of the body, not the, not the bottom, uh, for me it, it is important to uh, focus on the shoulders, on the neck, and on her face. That something must be happening around the photo. Because you are, if you are a portrait photographer, then uh, you need to have things uh, that is happening around her. So I will do that with this crown. And first couple of set, uh, first couple of shots will be. Only the test where I see uh, if everything is going uh, well, uh, ch uh, checking the lights and direction and everything. So first couple of photos, uh, I will do only the tests for her. About the setting and the camera I'm using, it is 5D Mark IV camera and 135 millimeters portrait lens 2.0. I really love working with this lens because it has such a sharp sharpness and uh, such a great uh, bokeh. It gives to the image and every portrait is so sharp that uh, it's, it, it, it is like flat. So about the settings, I always choose uh, 2.0. Uh, and the ISO is around 800. And the shutter speed is 250. So we will see how it really looks like. But first, I will start only the test to, to see how it looks. She doesn't have to pose here, so when you're doing tests, make sure to only she stand in the center and don't move. Okay. Hmm, that is too much light. I will turn on, turn off the one. And when I do this test, I love to see on the display how things is going about the lights. Oh, I really love this one. It's such a nice. Okay, I think we can start. So uh, before we start about the poses, uh, you must focus on the shoulders, on the neck, and on the, fa uh, on the face. So it is very important depending on the concept you're going to create. Do you want uh, that she's hiding for something? Do you want to express more of herself? So uh, that is how you're going to um, move the shoulders. So I want more confidence in the photos, so she will move her shoulders there and do something with the arms, not too much. Just follow the body language. It is very important for every model to be relaxed in front of you and to not move with the hands and everything. So better start with simple poses and then you will upgrade to more complex ones if you are not satisfied. So about the pose, can you do something like this? Yeah. And she already know how to pose. So she is very good. Okay, with the face. Look at the camera. Love it. Look there and through the window. 
yeah, and make sure to not speak too much because mother will distract by your words and everything. Make sure to have some pauses and to stop a little bit and to look at the photos and to give a model more time to relax. Okay, can you look, uh, look a little bit up? Yes, not so much. Perfect. And now I can do something with the hands like on the, yes, perfect. Spin down a little bit, yes. Uh, close your eyes. Okay, then uh, look a little bit up again. Yes. Okay, perfect. And about the communication, it is very important to communicate with the model during the shot because you want to introduce the model, uh, what you want to achieve, what you want to create that day, uh, how everything you want to look like. So uh, better introduce the model, what you want from them on that day. Uh, in that way, model won't be uh, too stressful, too nervous, and won't be relaxed. And uh, should we be maybe, oh my God, what is happening right now? I'm not too good. Uh, am I too good? Uh, what do I do now? What do I do next? So better to communicate with the model and better to say something. Oh wow, this is so nice. Wow, don't move. Stand like that. Uh, you're very beautiful. But only if you see beautiful results. So don't say only by saying. But if you really mean that, just uh, say that because in that way the model gets more motivated, more inspired, and uh, everything, the whole emotion blown away. So make sure to do something with the hands, like from the both sides. Yes, perfect. Look at the camera. Shrink down a little bit. Yes. Close your eyes. Oh, wow, I really love how her uh, eyeshadow is going very well with uh, this crown jewelry. It looks very amazing. Look at the camera again. Perfect. Now maybe to have a look. Yes, now look you're sleeping. Yes. And look down. Look at the camera. Yes, perfect, perfect. And I always love, because I want this uh, fairy tale look now, I always uh, follow her body language. She is so, um, she has such innocent, uh, innocent presence and everything. And she's so uh, like, this. and I want always for her some poses that goes like more dreamy and not too like this or this, or it's not um, the fashion photography for, uh, it's fine art photography. So it's very important to always express emotions and all, always show the neck and not to do like this because it could be very visible in photos. Okay, let's do again with the hands. Yes. Perfect. Look over there. I love it. Can you do something with uh, uh, holding the crowns? Yes, but uh, chin down, not too much. Yes, like this. Okay, I'll move just a little bit here. And now, can you do again, but only from the one side? Okay, this side? Yes, this side. Uh, that, the, that side. Only space uh, to the light towards because you won't have the shadows in that way. Turn on, the light is changing too fast, so I will turn on again the lights. Wow, look at the camera. Just a little bit chin down, not too much, yes. Perfect. Then something like this. Yes. Wow. Look how beautiful the reflection is from the makeup and the crown. And when you are when you are doing um, portraits, it is uh, so important to choose the right makeup that goes very well with the crown or the dress. So if you are using the golden crown, then make sure to bring some details in the makeup or the dress just to have this connection together. Because if you don't have, then uh, nothing will, there won't be the story behind it. Look at the camera. I love her eyes. And only with one hand, like this, yes. And look up a little bit, not so much here, somewhere here, yeah. 
And now I want more, a little bit of drama on her hands. So I will use this. It's like a ring bracelet. So I will put on the finger, on the hand. Okay. And it will give more dramatic touch to the photo. It goes very well in making the whole story with the crown and the fingers. And now I'll put something like this on the hand. Yes. Look at the camera. Wow, love it. Showing down again, yes. Uh, maybe kind of, uh, around the mouth or yes, like that. Wow. It's like a goddess. Look at the camera again. And I love the volume of her hair. So I always do this on photo shoots. Well, I love the volume so much. And I get it extra in Photoshop. So. Yes. Uh, look like you're surprised, like uh, looking up and a little bit with both hands. Yes, both hands. Yes. Just a little bit to see your neck a little bit. Maybe some, somewhere here, yes, like this. Yes. Okay. Make sure to stand now on the profile side. Yes. And always go we'll talk about the details and any the distract things that is happening. So, and again, hello now. Yes, or, or maybe touch the shoulder a little bit. Yes, you see, you always go uh, top touch and innocent uh, chin down. Yes. Love it. Look there to the window. Okay. Perfect. And now I think we have uh, photos from this uh, the bright backdrop, and now we will move to the other backdrop because it will it is my favorite. So the black backdrop, I will take this. Can you uh, my assistant will help me to bring this backdrop down? March. Okay. The reason why I'm using this backdrop is because uh, her, she has the pale skin. And the black goes very well with, uh, to increase the contrast between the model and the backdrop and to give more dramatic uh, touch to it. And I love using black backdrop because later I can add more stuff in Photoshop as a background and some sorts of fog or snow or it looks very good. So we will remove now this for the finger. And then we will take off this crown and we will use another crown and I will show you in a second which one it is but before i tell which crown i want to add this sleeves as a final also more magic touch for the board I love to connect uh, the dresses with the makeup and with the crowns, and I love telling the story. So I love to add the magic in every detail. And I really enjoy taking portraits. Okay, we have looking good. And now this is the second crown I'm gonna use. What I love about this crown, you see, it, it is, as well, you have a connection. These colors goes very well with the dress. And this, I love how the jewelry is uh, falling down. So we will use this one. Okay. Make sure to everything be settled down and to fix the hair and everything. 
And now I will add more mystic to the photo and I will turn off this. Yes. And after I will bring one more light behind her to show even more light going through her hair. So this will be very interesting. Okay, Vanya, can you now do with the hands like this? Yes. And looking at the camera. Uh, my setting is always at 2.0 because I love uh, this focal length. Okay, look at the camera. Um, can you do like this? Yes, ah, yes. Face down a little bit, finger. Yes, wow. Make sure to always, uh, it looks very good when you put some here that is going here, uh, to not to press through here and not to won't be visible. So make sure you put, put the hair around. Whoa, okay, camera. I love it. Look there. Can you now use only one hand and go a little bit further, closer to the back of the Yes, like that. Yes. Look up. Love it. You see, uh, she's slowly getting relaxed in front of the camera and she already know we work together for so many years, so we know each other so well. But when you're working with a model, it is so important to meet a model, to tell them what you want, to try some poses with them, to follow their body language. It is uh, so, uh, such a plus. So now I want to use this additional light. So my assistant will help me. I'm using this panel grow LED light, and that you will uh, he'll hold it behind her, and it will give such a nice touch. Yes. Wow. Or again, I only do something like uh, holding the hair uh, with one hand on the, uh, this end. Yeah, like that. And you can put somewhere. Yes. A little bit down, Franco. Yes. Can you more go there? Yes, like that. And maybe try something with this hand, like this one. Yeah, yes, yes. Let's get to here. Yes, and look that way. Can you do a bit uh, closer to? Yes. Come here a little bit, yes. And do something with uh, your hand. That would be uh, more far away, but yes. Look up. Okay. Now you will send something like this. On side. Um, yeah, uh, no, not uh, in front, uh, face to me. Okay. Yes, like that. Yeah. Okay, yes. Look down. I must go away because this lens, you're going 10 meters away with this lens. Okay, look at the camera. Now something like this, yes. But, um, sorry, something like this. Can you stand and then just face or turn uh, like this, yes. And more up. Okay, face down a little bit. Okay. Uh, look at the camera. Okay, now again on the side. I really love the side. It is such a great way when you have the side, she can hold the shoulders and she do something. Make sure to always do something, to not only stand because you are not taking photos for the passport. Uh, you are doing for fine art photography and everything is about the motion and poses and depending what you want to achieve. So we will do again with the slides. Uh, yes, perfect. Wow, stand like that, yes. 
One hand here, dark is perfect. Chin down. Maybe one side like this for the with this hand. Yes. I see the lights came in. Yes. Look at the camera. I will turn now this. Just to add a bit more mystic to the board. Yes. Can you now do like this? Perfect. Oh. I always get so excited when I take photos, so um, sorry about my noises. Can you do a camera here? Yes, and look up. Yes. Just a little bit. Look at the camera again. Now chin down, maybe hold, yes, like that. Okay, one more, look at the camera. Can okay, now face like this? Yes, one part. Yes, it gives us a nice touch and only reflects one side. Look there, Vanya. And now you can stand again like you were standing, just yes, like that. Maybe to bring the hair here. Okay. And one more again. This uh, is a bit higher. Yes, just a little bit more there. Yes. Oh, love it. You see now I see these lights here, so I must fix the hair again. And it is all about the fixing, but once you finish, the results will be better. Look at the camera. Chin down. Now we will without this light again on using these sub boxes. And we will stand like that. And Yes, like that. Yes. Now look through the camera. Look through the window. Uh, can you do with hands something like this? Yes. Wow. Look up. Uh, can you relax more mouth? Yes. And it is uh, better to uh, always the model relax her mouth like this because it looks more, uh, goes very well with the concept. Yes, again. Uh, you can hold, uh, you can hold one hand here and the other uh, holding the hair. And a little bit chin down, not so much. Okay, and now the Darko will um, hold her hair, and once I say three, two, one, he will do like this because I want the movement in the photo. So you will stand like you were standing. Yes. Three, two, one. Only this side. Only this. Wait. Three, two, one. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, I love this. Uh, do like this, and then, yes. And look down. Look down. Look through the window. Alio, I love using these lights because it gives such a nice uh, touch to the photo. Um, I don't love using flashes. I'm using continuous lights. In that way, I have more control what is happening uh, on the set and I see the pose, I see the face, I see everything, every detail. So when you use a uh, flash, um, you see the image after you press the shutter speed. So I'm not this type of the, I, I don't love it. So uh, this works uh, fine for me. Yes, look at the camera. Can you do it? Yes, and hold like this. 
Um, yes, um, keep, keep, keep the hand. Just to chain down a bit. Okay, and uh, now she will hold like this, and it is such a great way to um, paint the whole scene with her hand discovering like this. Maybe I'm thinking of, yes, yes, it's like the sun. Yes. Okay. Look at the camera. Just to, I'm pretty honest. I, I always check something that it is the right position. Yes, don't know. Hold, uh, hold the chin. Okay, look a little bit up here. Yes. And with only one hand, like this. Yes. Now stand like this. And face to this light source. Yes. And just a little bit neck. Yes, like that. And uh, sorry, uh, here. Yes. Shimmering down. Yes. Look up. Again, like this. And a little bit like, yes. Wow, love it. Look at the camera. Woo. Looks very good. <laughs> uh, can you please again to this side? When I start, I can't finish. Okay. Almost finished. Turn off this one too. Okay. Look at the camera. Yeah, perfect. Can you do it again with the hands? Yes. Face down with the chin up. Yes. It looks like you're sleeping. Yes. If you prepare everything with you, then the photo shoots will uh, less uh, be stressful and everything, and it will everything will be much quicker. Can you relax some more mouth? Yes, and look at the camera. Yes, look here somewhere. And now, can you do like holding the crown with one hand and the other to here? Yes. Yes. Ooh, love it. Look at the camera. Perfect. Look through the window. Something now with the hand, hands. I love using hands in the photo shoots because it uh, tells so much about the pose and the story and, and now can you uh, use with both hands here yes but maybe something not to yes like you yes relax this way yes look at the camera and chain down mm -hmm. don't move don't see this and these little things are more. When you put her here like this, it will be so much better later with the results. Look at the camera. And yes. Okay. Just now do again like this, and we are almost done with this part. I can't stop when I 
it was. It is so beautiful. Yes, don't move. Go to the camera. But this can be more like, yeah. Yes. Go to the camera. Close your eyes. Okay, just let's look at the camera. With one hand only, uh, holding the here, yes. Yes, well, only to turn on this. Look at the camera. Look down a little bit. Yes. Look here. Uh, can you uh, more relax and fingers? Yes. Yes. Look up the camera. Woo! So beautiful. Okay. I think we made so many photos. And some of them you see, I don't know how much you can see, but now, now we will switch to the edit part and uh, I will do some basic retouch with you where I'm going to show you the monitor and how I edit. So, uh, but before we start the edit part, I want you to uh, answer me some pools I created for you. So the first pool would be, how do you, how do you work with uh, photography? Is this one? How do you work with photography? Select one of the following. I'm a professional photographer. It's a hobby. It just I just started with photography. Okay, so uh, 47, it's a hobby. 36, I'm a professional photographer. So the next poll is, have you worked with models for, for with photography before? <clears throat> so um, have you worked with the models for photography before? 73 saying yes and 27 says no. That's interesting. And I love working with the models, especially with the women, because I found so many inspiration with them. The next question is, what do you think is most important in portrait photography? The emotion of the piece, the setting, the backdrop, or the props, such as the clothes and items. I'm really interesting about this because everyone will answer differently. So, 84 is the emotion of the piece, 6 is the setting, and 11 is the props. So uh, the most important is the emotion of the piece. Wow, yeah, and for me as well. I really love showing uh, emotion 
in photos and to express and fine art is better for showing emotions. Okay, so So we are back now at the edit part, and before we start, I want to uh, show you, uh, to tell you something about the BenQ monitor I'm using, and uh, this is the SWV321C monitor. I really love this one. I was using uh, SWV271 monitor from BenQ, and this one is so much bigger. It has 32 inches, and uh, the color range of this monitor is so great. It is like you edit in a live mode, and what you see on the set and in person is actually what you see on the monitor. So I'm 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 blown away how good colors of them uh, of this monitor are. And what I love about this monitor is when you uh, take some portraits, you can uh, switch to vertical mode and edit this way. And if you want to edit uh, horizontal photos, then you can switch to horizontal mode. And I really love this feature BenQ has because it gives you such a nice touch and it's everything will much uh, better so um about the futures uh i said that i i love the color the most of it and the second is this hockey puck is the thing uh, where you can change the brightness where you can change the color modes and uh, when i change the color modes uh you will you won't see um on uh, the screen that is uh, the, uh, that is going, but uh, on the webcam. You see, now I'm changing the modes, S, RGB, and black and white mode. In this way, you, uh, your edit will be much easier. So I will switch to uh, Adobe RGB mode. Also, you can change the brightness of the screen. See? And it is such a nice, I love this thing. So I'm uh, really using it. So now we will start to do some basic retouch with you, with the photos I created today. So the first one I'm gonna use, I will do some basic retouch. It's this one. I really love this portrait so much and uh, when we open the image we have the camera roll and I uh, always take photos in camera roll because in that way more details are getting in the photos and you can change after the brightness, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows and everything you can change after when you edit in camera roll and it is uh, so much important to do uh, to take photos in uh, raw format. So when we open this window we have these settings and we now I will change a little temperature of this photo. I will add more yellow tones. And to see if I'm, yeah, I will bring more pinkish tones here. I love to bring more brightness to the photo. So I will increase the brightness and contrast here a bit down, but when I add it, I will increase more. About the highlights, I love to, uh, highlights do like this because I um, uh, turn down because in that way I uh, give uh, I there is so much details in the photos so I will do this with the highlights and with the shadows I will do a little bit plus 13 it's okay whiteness I hardly use this but when I do I always uh, don't go too much like minus five or something and then these settings I'm not um, Doing. So here um, I'm not uh, curves uh, doing here. Okay, so details I love to add sharpening more to the photos to maybe be uh, 51. And about the colors, I love to play with the colors here. So I will check, I will do the oranges a little bit. Not too much, always see how it looks. You see this or this. So I think the reds, minus 35. Then I love her hair here. So maybe we'll go with the yellows a bit more up. Yeah, here. 
blues. We don't have blues. So here, everything what is on the photo is changing here. So if you have um, yellow, then choose the yellow. If you had red, then choose the red. So we have magenta. You see, you now have the pink and here you have blue. Oh my God, I love the blue one. So I will choose this one for this image. And I think I'm very satisfied how it looks. So I will open the image now. Okay, so when I open the image, I have, uh, Vanya has such a perfect skin and she don't have so many blemishes, but I will do only a few retouches of her. I will uh, zoom up and I will use healing brush tool to remove these spots. So I will uh, use from the blank part of her skin and put it here. So make sure to always bring the hardness down and uh, make sure to um, watch about the size and the hardness while looking at it. You, you want more softer touch, so make sure to like this. Like this. You see, she don't have so many pimples and everything, so everything is much easier to do. And I don't love using layers. Lay layers distract me, but sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. And now remove some visible spots here. These blemishes. Okay, a little bit more here. I always see, is there some blemishes on the hands? I will remove this by using the spot healing brush tool and I will increase the size. And I will do like this. And only these spots, it, they are not visible because they are not in the focus. So it's okay to use this tool. Okay, on the hands. Um, then see on the lips and here. Okay, then zoom out. Make sure to always zoom out. Okay, so now with the face, again with the eyes. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, and now uh, what I love to uh, do with the face is to play with the colors. So I will use the selective colors here and play with the tones. Uh, everything that is uh, yellow in the photo and uh, you will have here. And you can play with all these colors. You have yellows, okay. We have yellows. Huh? Can you see my screen? Okay. The sun. Yellows. I will do like this. The reds, I love playing with reds with, because in that case, um, more of her makeup will be um, visible and pop up. And also Hi, I love just checking in uh, because we're getting some questions. Can everyone see the two images, the monitor and as well as the screen? Can you see the webcam and also the what Giovanna is editing? We just want to be sure because we've gotten some some comments on that. So just to check on that. 
Okay, great. I'm seeing a couple of yeses. Um, in those cases of those who you perhaps can't see, perhaps try coming in, uh, coming in again into the webinar if you're still having issues, because it seems the majority are doing well. Thank you. I'm seeing a, a flood of, of yeses here. So thank you very much for the for the, for the feedback. So I'm I'll let you go. About Okay, thank you. Uh, so let's start uh, still using the selected colors. And I sometimes I spend uh, a couple of hours only playing with the uh, with these selected colors because you will get so many nice touches. So whites don't go too much because it will change the her skin and her tones in her skin. So make sure to only go a little bit. Yeah. And next one, I'm gonna use the curves. So about the curves, it's this one, and I lo always love to increase a little bit and make more contrast to the photo. So I love adding the contrast more and more, like this, and to play with these colors as well. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. Now I will see if it's good to play or no. Try with all of these colors yeah i love this tone it looks very nice okay i always merge visible these layers and what i love to do is about her skin i love to set as a foundation i use mix brush with her skin color like this okay and then but make sure to follow these parameters uh, and numbers not to uh, be above the 10, so around five to, to nine is totally fine. And uh, pay attention to the uh, size of the brush and only go on her face and follow this color. Not go too much, don't press too much, only a little bit, like this. It will only settle a little bit down everything and only follow the color. So here you don't, you have different color, here you have different color. So make sure to all follow the colors. Okay. About the eyes, I will use the dodge tool and only increase a little bit. Vanya has such a beautiful eyes and blue color. So I really love working with her eyes she's so beautiful like this not too much a little makeup and also i will burn a little bit here it's too much okay so see how everything will look like Yes, I really love it, but I will now increase the volume of her hair just a little bit. So we will do that in filter and liquefy. For that, just waiting for the open image. Just a few seconds. Okay, make sure to bring the size a little bit up and always follow how it looks like and only go a little bit not too much you see how her hair is moving but don't touch her face only the hair just a little bit uh, I, uh, one point I, I'm, I'm seeing from a few people that they're having trouble um, I, I think this might be a setting within photoshop they can see the changes you're making to Vanya's image, but they can't see the, the window uh, of what tools you're using. So uh, well, I said uh, fil uh -huh, filter liquefy tool for the hair volume. Okay, so you, you uh, we, we have to apologize for the fact that the, the, the tool settings are not showing up, but Giovanna can, can lead you through that uh, with, with her narration. And you can also see the, the finished product being uh, being produced as well. Yeah, uh, for the hair vo uh, vo uh, volume, we went to the filter and liquefy. And with the colors, we have these adjustments here. And now we will use it again bec because you can use over and over a few times. So I will uh, change a little bit of yellows here as well because everything is so much yellows. And yeah, 
you see it is more reddish now so it looks very dreamy this way and i will use the reds as well just a little bit this adjustments window if you don't have the adjustment window then go um, the windows and adjustment to turn on here the windows if you can find in then you can go to the image adjustment and select the color so i love playing with this and also what i love to play with the color balance you can all, uh, also here change you see from yellow to this but this is too much so uh, make sure to always uh, pay attention how uh, far you go so uh, don't go too much too far okay so i'm very satisfied how everything is looks on this photo and uh, i love it as a final result and uh, i changed the tones i did the skin retouch so um for now before we uh, go to the questions uh, you can feel free to ask uh, more questions now but before we go to the question i want to ask the pools again so the next pool will be have you shot in a studio before okay so have you shot in a studio before Seventy-two saying yes, and twenty. Okay. Um, yes, and I have only shot in location outdoors. Okay, I just got a message that uh, some of you didn't see how I edit, uh, not showing the, all the tools. So now we will do again edit part, but a little bit quicker. I will now share the screen. Can you see the screen now? Okay, we can. We see the screen. Okay, so we will uh, choose the image, and now we have when we open the image we have the camera raw filter. So um, when we open the camera raw filter, you have this window and where people see how you edit. So uh, we will uh, now change some of these, of these settings. Exposure, I always change the exposure, then a little bit of contrast, then the highlights like this and the shadows. I always increase the shadows. And here we change the colors everything that is on the photo on in that color will be changed here so maybe to increase the yellows and like this and purples you see when you do like this the, the dress is uh pink and when you go here the dress is blue so i really like like this version better when it's blue so now we open the image click open We open the image now. When we open the image, first thing, because Vanya has beautiful skin, we will do a retouch of her skin. So we will use in this toolbar, the healing brush tool. And make sure to follow uh, the size of the brush. Oops, sorry. 
yeah, the size of the brush, not too much to remove the pimples like this. And always zoom the image. Uh, uh, like this. Okay, so like this. Uh, only because Vanya don't have so many blemishes and everything, uh, it is uh, such a nice uh, feeling to edit her skin because she don't have so many pimples and everything. Okay, make sure to follow on what she's ha uh, on hands as well. So here she has this on her hands, so I will remove it by using again in this toolbar spot healing brush tool and i will increase the size of the brush and then only do like this it is okay in this way to use this brush here because her hand isn't uh, in the main focus it's her face so uh, it is you can uh, do like this only small blemishes okay like this i have some dots here i'm very perfectionist when i do so i always remove almost everything okay like this and to settle down a little bit makeup i i will use the mixer brush tool it's here on this where is the brush tool we go to the mixer brush tool and then we go to this square where we choose the colors so we have these colors on her face and every part of her skin has different colors so make sure to not dye this with uh, br a brighter side because here is darker and here is brighter. So make sure to dye brighter parts with a brighter color and the dark parts with a darker color. So you choose the color by pressing the square and then choose here the color. Hmm? Okay, wait a second. Here is the shop. Okay, so for the con uh, contour, okay, this. Okay, and not go too much, and always pay attention uh, here on the upper part to see all the parameters and the numbers. So uh, around the five to uh, nine is okay, but don't go above the 10. Okay. Hmm? 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 Oh, that, yeah. Can you see all the Photoshop here that I'm working because I got messages that some of them you are not seeing. So I really want for all of you to see how I edit. Okay, we are waiting. Uh, for participant to answer to see if they see the monitor because I won't go forward before I check with them. They see. Mm. Mm. The mixer box. That Fine. seems to be an issue with the with the Photoshop settings, I believe, or with the with the sharing settings. Uh, perhaps try with the um, uh, in the sharing screen. Well, we I did multiple share. versions and we didn't run into these issues, so I apologize to everyone. I have main screen and Photoshop. Can everybody see now?
I, sh I want you to all to see. So we should be able to see the layers now on the on the right side. I think if you made a, a couple of changes now, you should be able to see the uh, should be able to see the tools as well. And like this, using the mixer brush tool. There we go. Yes, it seems to be working now. Yes. Okay, so we use the mixer brush tool here here in the brush. Uh, where is the brush tool? To um, only the set will uh, her colors and foundation. Uh, and now we will use the Dutch tool. Okay, the next is the Dutch tool. So I will use the Dutch for her eyes, not too much, only to Vanya has some beautiful eyes and it's such a nice way to increase uh, the blue eyes of her photo, of her face. And with the Dutch uh, tool, I will just bring the highlights of the makeup a little bit and here as well. And with her lips. So yeah, to see how it looks. It looks nice. And now with the colors, uh, we will do in selected colors tab where we uh, play with this color. So everything that is the yellow in the photo, we change uh, with this tab. So yellow, we change like this and maybe to a bit more like this. And you can play on with the colors. You see how it's changing. So don't go to this side or to this side because it will be too much by only um, look to don't go too much with the edit. The red, I love to play with the red and to do use the uh, black in red plus 30. And here to see how it's looking. And the second is to use the curves. So it is in adjustment layer. And how to find the adjustment layer is to go to the filter, no, uh, the windows and adjustment lane to turn on uh, on this window. So what I, when I use the curves, I love to do this, to bring the highlights a little bit and then to bring more contrast to the photo. So you see how many contrasts I added. I love using contrast in the photos. And I think it's okay. And the final part is to bring more volume to the hair and I will do it in the filter and liquefy tool. So I will bring the more volume to the photo. Okay, so uh, wait a little bit seconds just to open the photo because the photo is so big, it's uh, 40 megabytes. So it uh, needs some time, okay? And then when we open this folder, we have this little, little hand here. We will use this hand and make sure to uh, watch on the size of the brush. So this size goes very well. You see how I'm moving the hair, but don't go too much. And uh, don't share her, uh, don't move her face as well, only her hair. And what do you want to move? So this, I think it's okay. Like this, okay. And then it's changed. So I'm very satisfied with how this photo turned out. So, um, now we are going to the questions. I hope you all see this edit part because I hope uh, you don't have troubles. And the next pool I'm gonna share with you is what do you edit your pictures with? I will launch the pool. What do you edit your pictures with? Do you edit a uh, professional monitor, regular monitor, laptop or phone? So 34 uh, says regular monitor, 29 professional monitor, and 35 laptop and phone.
okay, the next tool gonna be, well, what do you shoot with? What do you shoot with? Do you shoot with professional camera, hobby camera, and the phone? So 85 saying professional camera, that's good. And 13 hobby camera. And 3% saying the phone. Yeah, I really like this answer. And it's still increasing 85% using professional camera. Okay. That's it for this tool. So now we are going to the question part and we are very excited about it. Uh, it is Vanya with myself too. So now we will go through the questions and we're going to see what you asked. So let's start. Oh my God, too many questions. Let's see. Where do you um, where do you buy the dresses and accessories? So uh, I buy uh, I work with a couple of designers who are making the dresses for me. So uh, when I have some idea in my head, when I uh, have when I have a concept in my mind what I want to create next, so I write to them and then we together finalize the details about the uh, upcoming photo shoots. But before I was working with designers, I was ordering online the dresses. Even now, I order sometimes online from eBay, from AliExpress, and you can find so many good dresses uh, by uh, such a, with, uh, such a good price. So it is, um, I love the dresses. And dresses is the main part of every my uh, photo shoot. If you also have the questions for Vanya, please make sure to ask. Let me see. Uh, where do you find this kind of props and dresses? I already answered about the dresses, but the props, I have uh, the people which I'm working with and which making the props. It is more complex, the props, and it is, uh, if the prop is more simple, then I made it or my assistant or someone who knows how to make. What is your favorite lens? For the portraits, it's uh, 105 millimeters, uh, 1.4 Sigmar lens. This is one amazing lens. and 135 millimeters, 2.0, which I uh, use today on this photo shoot. Okay. Let me see. Can you uh, please, can you repeat the monitor model again? Is CWV 321 um, C monitor. Okay, now I see the editing part and everything. So <laughs> let's see the questions. Let me see. Let me see. Please ask now because I only see the editing part, which you see, I didn't see. Can you sum up the adjustments at the end uh, in the model? So first, um, I was uh, editing the in the camera roll, uh, when you uh, transfer the image to the Photoshop, then camera roll uh, window will appear, and then you can adjust the colors there. And then the skin retouch, I was using the spot healing brush tool and healing brush tool for um, uh, adjusting the skin and to settle the makeup, I was using the mixer brush tool, and after for the uh, hair volume, I was using the liquify tool. Okay. Oh, let's see the questions. I only see the editing. Wait just to see where the questions from you. Make sure to bring this question now.
where do you get props from? <laughs> I already answered, but you have in some local stores or I order online. Uh, eBay and AliExpress have so many beautiful props and which you can find anywhere else. There is a bunch of beautiful props there. Uh, Lightroom or Photoshop, Photoshop always. Light loom only for the uh, tones, but Photoshop always. Uh, how do you make the model believe in your vision? Show them your vision and they, they will believe in you. Do you use presets? Yes, I'm using presets and uh, I have my own presets which I make in Photoshop. So uh, I only press this preset and a preset and I already have the image. So uh, I don't spend 20 minutes to edit this, this whole thing. Okay. Um, for the model, finally. <laughs> okay, for the model, uh, what instructions you want prefer from the photographer? Um. I like working with Yavana because she's very like, she knows what she wants right away. So, but we also kind of figure out uh, what we want together when we shoot actually. But we, um, we all, we already have it in our minds and it's very easy. Instructions are very simple. She sometimes has to show me if I don't understand what she wants me to do, but um, we kind of end up and just figure out Everything. Okay, and how did you and Vanya met? Meet? Um, uh, who will tell? Uh, Yavana messaged Your, me. Her English is better, so she will answer here. Yavana messaged me on Facebook, um, and which was weird to me because I didn't have much of my photos up. But she was too beautiful. <laughs> and at first, I was like, oh, I don't know if I a model enough to do it but i was like okay i'm gonna just help out this photographer what she envisioned and make it possible for her and we started um, working like that and since then it's it's been like yeah, yeah. and now she's a uh, maid of honor yeah she's also in my friends no, so we are all family. together all inclusive <laughs> yeah okay so somebody asked is vanya full-time model no just i'm just doing this for you work for other photographers. I just feel uh, the most comfortable with her and we just, I think we have a similar, like, uh, similar thoughts and yeah. um, for the whole set and uh, everything is much easier when working with someone who is the same as you. So yeah, we, we understand each other pretty well. So. We always have so much fun together. Yeah. Always <laughs> so mm -hmm. much love and everything. So, so, so great. Uh, what are the best exporting settings for the web? So uh, when exporting the image, it is uh, important to um, use, uh, to increase the size of maybe 1000 pixels and then to go to the file and save as export and save for web. So in that case, and in uh, PNG file. So in that way, uh, it will save more um, details from the photo. How long you are working as a photographer? It's been around eight years, eight to nine. So I always love photography, but uh, on the second uh, year of my law studies, I uh, found a Flickr photography sites where lots of other people are sharing the photos and I fell in love with fine art style. It, it was such a different and I, I was seeing the emotions and uh, lots of things happening behind and I fell in love and that's how I <laughs> start loving fine art photography. Uh, what light did you use? Yes, LED lights. I always uh, use LED because it has white color. I don't love yellow too much. Uh, how long are you modeling, Vanya? Um, I don't know, for maybe like seven years, I think. Yeah, seven years. Oh my God, it is too much. <laughs> but the, the uh, time flies. Yeah, time flies. And we are getting better and better. So. Okay, so um, do you give classes for photographers? Yes, I do. I offer online and offline, uh, offline classes. So I do online courses and for offline, I hold the workshops and it is always so much better to uh, uh, working um, with the persons uh, when you see everything, when you're interacting with, with, with each other and it is so much better in person than, than online. But now because of Corona and everything, Everything must be online. Okay, so so many questions now. Um, 
how you edit the best skin. I uh, also uh, use the spot healing brush tool, but I need more time to edit and the size is much smaller than uh, this size uh, because Vanya don't have too many blemishes, but I spend hours when uh, somebody has so many blemishes. Um, how did you, let me see. Um, do you create a mood board before every shoot? Uh, yes, I have a notebook with me where I write down all like, the ideas, what, which things I must uh, take with me um, about the poses, uh, uh, the scenes, the props I'm going to use, and uh, every shooting lasts about one or two hours long. Sometimes it's 20 minutes when it's too uh, cold or something, and <laughs> Vanya you can't stand the cold. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, can the model introduce herself? My name is Vanya. Um, I'm from the same small town which Jovana is from, which is Renin in Serbia. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm a makeup artist, um, part-time model for Jovana, and that's about that. And also for you, are you nervous before the shootings? Um, no, not working with Jovana, not at all. <laughs> Great. Um, let me see. Do you have any tips for cell portraits? It is uh, so important to use a tripod if you have one, or if you don't, you can use a table, then put some of the books or something and then the camera. And then um, it is um, a remote control to have it, to have it with you. Our, uh, even now the iPhone and Android phones has the, um, how does it call, uh, Canon um, camera, where you connect the, uh, with a wireless, and you see what is happening on the screen and you can only press the button and you take the portraits. Okay, so do you have so many questions? I will get lost. Um, how you promote your work su uh, successfully? Um, I use a couple of photography platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, uh, 500px and lots of others. Uh, and I, it is very important to post daily, like every day to share your uh, photos and uh, people will uh, in that way see uh, uh, your work will be in front of them uh, every day. So uh, they will share, the, the other people will see and lots of people will come to you slowly, very slowly. Uh, where do you get models from? Uh, I Most of the time I found them on Instagram or Facebook or they will write to me and then I choose. I'm very picky when it comes to models. I love some unique beauty features, bright eyes, some different skin, um, face features. So I, I must see first. Okay, do you have, um, how many time do you spend editing a fine art photo in Photoshop? So um, sometimes uh, 20 minutes, sometimes a couple of hours, maybe uh, two, three, four hours. Uh, it really depends how complex the image is. So it really depends. Uh, Vanya, how did you learn to model and do you have some tips? Um, Yavana taught me everything I know, basically. No. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're like I, remember, I remember But when we started working together, I was like, okay, this could be fun. <laughs> this could be work. <laughs> yeah, and this could be work. Yeah. Um, it's great. Um, I don't really have any tips. I think uh, you need to be as relaxed as you can and work with the great photographers who can direct you and it's just important to understand each other and that's about yeah i think I that that is about. important to connect to each other and Definitely. you can connect with every person but you must meet the person you see if you will work together or not okay so uh, someone said the model is really beautiful <laughs> thank you okay and uh, someone asked where do you get your ideas uh from everyday life uh, sometimes i uh, from my dreams, I see something, uh, it comes, I don't know, whatever I see, I, I can make the idea. So, but the things that inspire me are the people, the life, nature, and that's it. How did you get inspired? I already answered now. Um, what poses you don't recommend that don't go with the body, uh, body language? You, you must see, meet the person. If the person is too shy, then these poses don't go with them. You, you can only show this and with the, that is going through the body and uh, just follow the body language. Not too much with the hands, but uh, better start with the simple poses and then you will get more complex. Okay. Poses. 
I don't. <laughs> yeah, but that's all awesome. I'm just I love this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see uh, for the model. Uh huh. That is. Um, use a tablet yes i uh, recently i purchased vacuum interest pro tablet and i really loved it it's such a, a easier way to edit the image do you pay the mo other models you photograph uh, yes sometimes i pay sometimes i uh, work uh, um, if they want only uh, beautiful photos but these i worked when i started with photography now um, i pay my models because i use uh, these photos after so i think it is a good way Okay, how do you find models? I answer through the Instagram. Okay, uh, do you use flash outside? No, I use only uh, natural light. I really love. Could Vanya speak louder? Uh, okay, we will see uh, the next question. Um, how, the, uh, how long does it take to prepare the model? Well, for you to do the makeup and everything, how, how much? Because she's a makeup artist, so she prepared herself as a makeup so she can ask for how much time she needs. I'll say about two hours maybe. Okay. Love your work. Thank you so much. Uh, you are so great, both of you. Thank you. Oh my god, so many questions. Okay, just a little bit and I think let me see. Working with children. What is this? Okay, and now I again see the editing part. Uh, let me see. What is this? Uh, which town? Sorry, Zranian, right? Zranian, yes. Um, it's nearby. Hello, Vanya. How do you get ready for a shooting? Um, I do my makeup. I have to first, of course, consult with Yolana <laughs> and actually figure out uh, like what she wants and I kind of add my little touch to it so yeah just do my makeup do my hair and go on set okay and do you always use continuous light instead of flashes yeah I don't like flashes I didn't find myself in it because I uh, I love to see what is happening on the set and in front of me and that's why I always use continuous light but I always use natural lights and I use continuous only when I have to Vanya Bashleta. Well, this is in our Serbian language, so hvala. <laughs> Do you have any favorite photographers? Yes, I love Tim Walker. I love Oleg Prisco. I have so many. They're really amazing, and they're also fine art photographers. Okay. Uh, do you cover wedding photography? No, I tried, but I didn't find myself in weddings. Uh, do you have tr Do you have trusted makeup artists for models? Yes, I work with uh, makeup artists as well, and with Vanya. She really does her makeup every time. I'm I'm speechless. I want to do a little like that too, <laughs> but I can't. Okay. Does um where? Let me see. You're such an inspiration. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Okay, I think we have so many questions, but I think uh, we are done answering now. If you have some questions, feel free to uh, DM us or Instagram for both um, Vanya and myself. So um, I really want to thank you for joining this webinar and uh, having uh, fun today with us. And uh, I hope you see everything, the editing part and the shooting part. Sorry for the troubles we, uh, we had. And I'm very happy to have you here and see you very soon. Thank you so much. Yes, I'd also like to say thank you to everyone again. And uh, I was reminded actually quite quickly by my uh, by one of my colleagues as well. The, the signage that you're seeing here actually is also Pantone validated, just like the just like our monitors actually. So if you are a designer who works a lot with digital signage, that's actually something that you can then uh, you can have a connection between those two as it's. If I'm not mistaken, the first in the world that is Pantone validated in terms of the, the digital signage. So, but with that, I would like to thank Giovanna and then Vanya, and of course, thank all of you for coming to this to this webinar. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed it. As I said, you'll be receiving the recording of the webinar tomorrow, along also with a 10% uh, discount code for the PD and SW monitors, just like the one that Giovanna is using behind her. 
and uh, we really look forward to seeing you at future events. On our social media, we're always talking about uh, future events that we're doing, uh, future webinars on all kinds of different subjects. So uh, on behalf of BankQ, I really want to thank everyone again and have a, have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.